Today I'm going to find out if this counterweight for a golf club shaft really works. What's happening Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Years ago I discovered this. It's by Momentus and it is a little weight that goes into your golf club right here. And it's a counterweight that actually is supposed to help you pick up club head speed. Now, I've been a little skeptical of counterweights for a while, but I was actually reading about Zexio clubs. They make some lightweight clubs, mostly aimed at seniors, people of small stature, those types of things. But to help increase club head speed, they actually put in some counterweighting into the shaft, which actually raises the bounce point and kind of gives it a lighter swing weight which is a little funny because you're adding weight to it but it's gonna feel a little lighter when swinging and then I actually found a TXG video from a couple of years ago where they were just trying different shafts some with the weight bias down to the tip some with the weight bias up to the butt end and one of the interesting results that they had was that with the weight up here in the handle in the shaft they were actually able to put more weight on the club head get faster club head speeds and a better smash factor and I thought well maybe I should go back and really try out this counterweight and see See if it actually works now I wanted to try out this one because this is one of the easiest ways to add a counterweight to your golf club it really just screws into the little hole on the bottom of your golf grip now in this case I can just kind of push it in there but if you have some of the really tight rubber grips sometimes you kind of have to twist them in and then I kind of twist them in one direction and then the other direction just to kind of get it all the way in there and then the way the counterweight has the flare in there it should stay in there pretty good so it's considered a permanent install even though it's relatively easy to take out i also like the shape of it, it kind of blends into the grip if this were black it would probably even disappear a little bit more but this is a really easy way to add 25 grams to the shaft now one of the things that i wanted to do here is actually try it on a couple different shafts this one is a Fujikura Airspeeder 40 Regular Flex. This is actually a shaft that I would normally play. It's actually been a pretty good shaft for me. And then I thought I would also try it on my Autoflex shaft here. So this is an SF505 shaft. It's a shaft that I also play. They are both cut to the exact same lengths. They have slightly different weights. So this shaft here advertises itself at 40 grams and this shaft here advertises itself at 51 or 52 grams. So a little bit different there. So I went and used a GC to actually figure out what was going on here. And I took a bunch of swings with this Fujikora airspeeder and I had some interesting results I'm a little torn about what the results actually say here so with this airspeeder my club head speed without the weight was 88.5 miles an hour with a ball speed of 125.7 miles an hour and then when I went ahead and put the counterweight in here and swung it my club head speed actually went down to 86.9 miles an hour and my ball speed went down to 123.5 miles an hour now it's interesting that there was a registrable difference between the two it's also interesting that I thought by putting 25 grams of weight in here I would feel it like the club would be heavier and I wouldn't be able to swing as quickly but it's not very noticeable and especially when you're thinking about taking weight out of your club in places that are unnecessary 25 grams is a lot but because it's so close to your hands right up here kind of counterbalancing the shaft you really don't feel it so honestly whether it was in or out and I was swinging the club I probably couldn't tell you whether it was installed or not so after that initial result with the Fujikura here, I thought, well, there's really no point in having this counterweight in there. But then I switched over to my flex shaft here, and without the weight installed, I was getting a club head speed of 88 miles an hour and a ball speed of 125 miles an hour. But when I went ahead and put the counterweight in here, my club head speed went up to 88.6 miles an hour and my ball speed went up to 125.8 miles an hour. Now, I will say that those improvements or those gains are so small, I don't think that they're particularly meaningful. To be really honest, adding one mile per hour of ball speed coming off the club faces is really only going to equate to maybe three yards. So I'm not sure that this really helped. Now, I will say it was my first time actually using it and I took maybe 30 swings with every variation of the club so it's not like I really gave it maybe the best effort in the world but I really wanted to see what it would do instantaneously to someone who hasn't used it. Now I will say a couple things that I was thinking about this. One, maybe the weight needs to be dialed in. Maybe you could use a little less weight. I've seen counterweights as low as 12 grams and as high as 30 or 40 grams. This one is 25, so I think it's pretty good and it's maybe somewhere in the middle. And so for different people, a small difference in the counterweight might actually make a big difference. But one of the things that I was actually surprised is that it didn't hurt. So when I add weight, it's even like my golf GPS watch. Sometimes I think, well, having this 20 or 30 gram watch on my wrist is slowing down my swing speed. 
speed. And I really don't think that this is going to do this. The fact that my autoflex shaft actually performed just slightly better with adding a little weight, I actually think that I might keep it in there because this is the shaft that I play most often. So the fact that it didn't hurt kind of lends me to think that maybe I should try some different weights. Maybe I should try to install those Tour Lock Pros, try some different weights, just see what helps. One of the things that I do believe in is that because it's more balanced, it might just be a little easier on your forearms, on your wrists, might take a little bit of that effort away, might help you avoid golfer's elbow and some of those things. So the fact that it doesn't take away anything is a really big win for me. And the fact that it looks like it might help if I kind of play around with this, that could really be interesting. And the fact that I just really didn't feel it for the most part, I think is actually a good sign. So does this work? Uh, it's hard to say. I think people will get different results, but I will say it's pretty inexpensive. It's only like 20 or 25 bucks for this counterweight. You can throw it in. It's not a permanent install. You can take it out. It's one of those things where you just might want to try it and experiment around with it. And I would say, especially if your club head is lagging a little bit, you're pushing them off to the right, you're having trouble releasing as quickly as you need to to get the head down back on the ball at impact, something like this might just be the little help that you need. So I think that this is very promising and I'm gonna keep playing around with this, but I would also say it's not some silver bullet. It's not some magical piece of golfing equipment that everyone needs to use. And for a lot of people, I think you're probably okay playing the equipment that you have. And if you're already using a shaft that is more biased with weight down by the club handle, then you might not see much difference at all. But for a lot of people who are maybe using lightweight materials, so you're using the lightest shaft possible, the lightest head, the lightest hosel, the lightest grips, then something like this might even make more of a difference for you. So if you want to pick up this counterweight here to see if it'll help your golf game, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can risk off more and explore so much deeper. We can live better than ever things to Peter. Peter Von Panda.